All right, guys, it's water quality testing day. Now, one of the things that I do during the open water season from ice out to ice in is test our lakes, dissolved oxygen, water clarity, and phosphorus levels. And I try to do it every couple weeks, you know, every few weeks. And today, it's a perfect day to bring you guys along. We have our little helper and our tools over here that we're gonna need. And there is almost no wind, which is rare, so uh, bringing you guys along to show you the steps so you can see what we do out here. See why it's important to make sure our lake is super clean. So let's get started. We'll toss anchor just in case. What's that? We gotta toss in the anchor. Our house, Dad. We have 140 feet to go. Our house. Oh, good. Can you go to the back and pull it out of that box? There are that's too much stuff. <laughs> I know. The first test we have is the water clarity. And we use this, which is called a Secchi disc, two black triangles, two white triangles, and this six inch, I don't know what you call it, an aquascope. And you put that end in the water and you cover your face up with this so no light gets in and you see how far you can drop this disc before you lose sight of it completely, including the, the glow. Are you going to do it too? Yeah. Okay, we can do it together. Now these are bluebird skies with a bright sun and no waves at all. So there's no turmoil at the surface as far as you know the pollen and things getting mixed in. So it's perfect to see our true clarity of the lake. And uh, we got 4.9 meters, almost five meters, which is our highest in probably two years. That's excellent. On the state of Maine, that's considered medium still, below six meters, but the bulk of the lakes are actually in that range, four to six meters. So. 4.9 meters is good. I good job, Daddy. Thank you. All right, so the next test is the dissolved oxygen test. And we use this YSI Pro 20 meter. It measures the temperature in Celsius and then the oxygen in uh, milligrams per liter. So a healthy lake is between six and a half and eight. In Sheepscot, we are super deep, so we have to go down 140 feet, where other towns only have to test their ponds to 30 feet because they're a shallow pond. So this part is time consuming. We go one yard at a time, or one meter at a time, for the first 15 meters, and then we go five at a time. We use this form here. We already put our clarity reading with the Secchi disc, all of our geographical and weather information, and then my information, because this will later be submitted to the state for the Lake Stewards of Maine to use as uh, information in their analysis of the health of Maine water. So we play an important role, right, Tuck? Yeah. Yeah, he, Tuck says, yeah, he's resting now. This part's boring for him, and it's gonna take a while, so bear with me. For every test, every time we come out, we use a GPS coordinate, so we're in the exact same spot, the deep hole of the lake, 140 feet, that way we eliminate the erosion and rain influence on clarity and quality. Surface water is 24.9 degrees Celsius. So that's like 78 hey, degrees Fahrenheit. I'm gonna put this right here. And uh, oxygen is 7.3 milligrams a liter. So that's good no for summertime. Very happy. As we go down, we give it a little shake. This meter requires a little bit of a bounce, just a wrist flip. We round up to the tenth, so 7.4 milligrams a liter and 24.4 degrees Celsius. So temperatures 
Staying pretty consistent. Why don't we oxygen get staying up consistent. Daddy, then I will help do that. 15 feet down, oxygen dips. As expected, we're in no. summer. <laughs> you don't have to jiggle it, just daddy. All right, so I'm almost coming up to the end here. I have my last reading, and I'm actually 120 meters down. That's the longest our our cable goes, our meter goes. Tucker, what's this tool called? Oxygen meter. Oxygen meter, good. 5.5 degrees Celsius, which is about 40 degrees Fahrenheit at the bottom of the lake. And uh, one of the last things we do for the quality for the dissolved oxygen is we do two quality control tests on the way up. And usually you pick uh, depths that have variable temperatures or oxygen. So for us, we're pretty stratified. Um, yeah, we'll say 21 to 30 feet is where the temperature dropped and the oxygen started kicking back up. And it, it kicked back up from seven back up to nine nine and a half ish and then it's consistent the rest of the depth so we'll pick there and uh one of the shallower ones just to just to verify surface temp and oxygen and and we're good i almost got it okay do you want me to take over nope so we're done our two quality control tests on the way up. We did 25 meters and then 10 meters to check the stratification levels and they're consistent. Sometimes underwater, you know, the oxygen, it will look like a wave where, you know, different variables change oxygen and temperature, but we were consistent on the way up, which means our testing was accurate and verified. So we've completed our form with some weather information and our notes information down to 120 meters and uh, I realize this is some nerdy looking stuff but it's important to the lake and I find it interesting as a bass fisherman so hopefully you guys did too. Tucker did you do a good job? Yeah you did. Now the worst part pulling up 120 or 140 feet of anchor line. Woof. <laughs> testing for the Lake Stewards of Maine has three tests. The water clarity, the dissolved oxygen, and the phosphorus test. But the, phos the phosphorus kit, we only do once a year, and I've already done that. Sent it into the state, and we're waiting for the results. We're hoping that it's an eight or less on the parts per billion. That is a healthy lake. There's obviously more to it than what the science is behind everything, but that's the nuts and the bolts of what I have to do for uh, yeah. the actual tests. Tuck, did you help me? Yeah, yeah. Good thing I had him. Wouldn't be able to do it without him. Thanks for coming along. Mm -hmm.